Hi, it's Lenny B for AVStudioPro.com, a place for small studio producers. Now we're here at the San Diego County Fair 2013 edition. And as you can see, there's lots of noise, lots of uh, ambient sounds, a lot of screams all around me. And the audio and video you are seeing and hearing right now is taken from nothing but smartphone cameras. Usually to get a great video and exceptional audio in a situation like this is difficult, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with just a couple of these. Now sometimes you'll find yourself at an event and you'll spot an opportunity, maybe something for your website or your video blog or something that would be great to show a sponsoring client or great footage, maybe to include in a future sales package. Well, whatever it is, it has to look and sound as good as possible, hopefully broadcast quality. Why? Because it's a reflection of your work. So there's a really good chance that the person you're with has a smartphone as well, right? We're gonna use their second smartphone to record the video. Now that's because they probably already have a video app on their phone. You are gonna use your second smartphone or iPhone to record the audio exclusively. So how cool is this? You're totally wireless. You can get right up to your subject. Your name is? Miranda. Miranda, how did you win that? My boyfriend won it for me. Whoa, how did you win it? Uh, I knocked down some bottles with these big guns. <laughs> nice job, you guys. <laughs> now, the idea here is to capture the best quality that you can in the field then sync it up back in your production studio. It's pretty easy to get the audio and video footage from each smartphone to your computer. I'll have those details in the show notes. And to sync the files up quickly and easily, I like to use Final Cut Pro 10's sync feature. Many of the other pro editing applications have plugins you can use to get that same task tackled. And if you don't have either one, you could always go with the standard classic hand clap method. Now for the audio recording app itself, there's several that you can use, and I've used quite a few of them. But I've narrowed it down to a really simple one for my iPhone called Voice Recorder HD. It's by a company called eFusion. I think it's a couple bucks, $1.99. It's become my favorite because it's very uncomplicated and has a very simple startup interface. You turn it on, you can push the red button and you're recording. Also, what's great about this app is it connects directly to my Dropbox so I can get it to the production studio quickly and easily. And third, it delivers WAV files that drop right into my editing timeline. So to give you an idea of the difference, let's listen to the audio coming straight from the camera that's taking the video. Now this is what it sounds like, it's a lot different. You can hear a lot more of the ambient sound. Now let's switch back to the audio that's right in front of the source coming from the second iPhone. It sounds much better every time. Then you just add some edits, some music, some sound effects, and you've officially raised your production quality. Now for a couple tips if you're gonna give this a try. If you're handling the smartphone capturing audio, about six to 10 inches away from your sound source is a good rule of thumb. The louder your surrounding noise, remember the closer to the phone's mic you should get. Remember the more light that you have, the better the quality your video is gonna be. ISO is the weakest link for even the best smartphone cameras. You want to make sure both phones are recording and make sure you're talking into the mic end of the phone. I know it sounds like a dumb mistake, uh, but I've done it a few times. And it's a great idea to capture some B-roll, especially some establishing shots before the moment is completely over, so you can mend some edit points and really tell the story better. All of the music heard on this video is from Infinite Universe Productions, and it's available for stock music purchase. I'm Lenny B. Thanks so much for watching for AVStudioPro.com.